on this uh, first problem, um, we have that ABCD is a parallelogram, and we need to find X, Y, and Z. There are three variables, so we should be thinking that we may need three equations uh, to do these three variables, deal with these three variables. So first, we have AB. Well, AB, what we know about AB is primarily that it's going to be the same length as CD. And so that allows us to write an equation, 3x plus 2y plus 3z equals 19, because AB and CD are the same. And then AD and BC are the same. So 5x minus 3y minus z, that's AD, and BC is 14. And then finally, we're given that ABC is 52. And what we know about that is that um, in a parallelogram, opposite angles are the same. So maybe we're thinking that ADC is going to equal 52, but we're not given ADC. Instead, we're given DAB, which is this angle. Uh, consecutive angles are not congruent. Instead, they are supplementary. And so that means this angle is going to be 128. So our third equation is 21x plus 3y plus 17z equals 128. So looking at this, um, there's one, um, a, a couple um, of things that you could do to try to come up with some nice equations. Probably the easiest is recognizing that between these two, you can um, easily eliminate the y. If I just add these two equations together, I would get 26x plus 16z equals 142. And so that's such an easy first step that that's probably their best way to go. Um, then we need to eliminate y between these two, which I'm going to choose because they're smaller numbers than the 21x and the 17z and the 128. So that means multiplying the top one by 3, so 9x plus 6y plus 9z equals 57. And then the next one by 2, so 10x minus 6y minus 2z equals 28. And so then I'm going to add the equations together and get 19x plus 7z equals 85. So that gives me um, two equations, 26x plus um, 16z plus 142, and 19x plus 7z plus equals 85. Now, I notice that in this one, all those are divisible by 2. So I'm going to uh, make my life a little bit easier when I put these together by dividing that by 2 and getting 13x plus 8z equals 71, and then 19x plus 7z equals 85. I believe it's going to be easiest to multiply this one by 7 and this one by negative 8. So that's going to give me 91x plus 56z equals 497. Use a calculator on these. Nothing wrong with using a calculator on these. And so that's going to give you negative 152x minus 56z equals negative 680. And so that gives us negative 61x when I add the do that addition. The z's cancel out. This is going to give us negative um, 183, which gets us x equals 3 when I divide both sides by negative 61. Then once I find out one variable, I go back into one of these two equations to find the um, uh, z. So 3 times um, 13 is 39. 39 plus 8z equals 71. So 8z equals 32. So z equals 4. And then once I know two of the variables, I go back to one of the original equations to find the third variable. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2y, plus 3 times z is 12, equals 19. That's going to give me 2y equals negative 2, so y equals negative 1. And so the correct answer to this is x equals 3, y equals negative 1, and z equals 1.